Hey Moon Babies, it's your girl Suki Moon and I'm back with another how-to video. In today's video, we are going to be looking at the Casper Vendor System. So in that way, if you have any shapes or um, stores or any events that you want to join or create, um, I'm going to show you how to use that system so you can sell your items um, through there. So the first thing you want to do is this is... Um, after making the booth after you want to know what you want to sell after you have like your ad and stuff information in uh, I already have a video on how to set up booths and stuff like that for your events so um, if you want just go ahead and follow the links in my description for that I'm here at um, posh events and I have this booth set up here so I wanted to take the time to show you guys how to set up the Casper vendors because that's the last thing that I need to do for this booth here. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how to do that. So the first step is you want to actually get the Casper vendor item. So you want to go ahead and open up the marketplace. And you want to search up Casper Vend. Like literally just search it up. And it's by um, Casper Tech here. So they have a premium vendor which includes a lot more stuff. Um, like if you want to rent out you know like your place or you rent a ranch out some land it has that also included like what can you like from what you can see here in my inventory i have um the uh i have the elite rental system but it includes the drop box and everything that you would need there um if you don't want to pay this much because i know it's a little it's a pretty penny for this if you don't want to pay for this because you're not going to have like a whole bunch of stuff going on um you could definitely just get the demo version and the demo version has pretty much everything that you need um, as it would with the premium. I just like using the premium just in case because I don't like going through any issues just in case. So, But there is a free version here if you want that. So once you get the free version and you unpack it and you open it up, I already have the premium vendor already purchased so that's why I have it here on the side and so after you get that like I said there is a demo version you can grab um, and that includes the Dropbox and the uh, redeliveries and stuff like that um, and so here's how you guys would do it okay so once you guys actually have purchased the either premium vendor or the free one it doesn't matter um, and you finished your booth and you're ready to set everything up the first thing you want to do is you want to take your Dropbox and you want to res it out so once you res it out you will see a box that will say Casper Venn Dropbox this is the main item that you will need okay if you don't have this this will not work so this Dropbox here um, this is where you're gonna be putting all of your items so if you have a store Mainly, you're going to be doing all of these steps over and over until everything is in this box here, okay? Now, this is something that I've learned on my own. No one else taught me how to do this. This was self-taught. If you know a better way of doing things, then go, you know, go right on ahead. I'm just here to show you guys how I did it, okay? So, once you res out the Dropbox, you, make, you want to make sure you keep this here. So, once you res it out, you want to keep it here at the event, okay? Um, go ahead and click on it. You don't have to right click, just do a regular click. And then you're going to see a pop up. And um, with the pop up, you're just going to go ahead and click admin. And then it's going to have another pop up with a link right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. But you want to open up this link in a external um, browser because if you try to open up here, it's going to tell you that you can't uh, open it here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and open up in a browser. So we're back on the website here. So once you get to the website, it's going to ask for you to create your password. Okay, so you're going to use the same um, name that you would use in Second Life. So for mine, it's Ace Trend 101 Resident. So that's mainly what your username is going to be. And then you're going to go ahead and make up your password. Do not use the same password that you use for your own Second Life account, only for security and safety reasons because you don't want anybody else getting into this because this is like 
you know, your money maker here. So you don't want anyone to get into that. Um, so once you sign in, it's going to take you to uh, this page here. It's actually going to take you to the over overview page, sorry. Um, and it's going to look like a lot of gibberish because it's like we don't know any of this stuff, right? But mainly we're just going to go ahead and go to products here. So um, the main parts of this website that you really are going to focus on are obviously products, vendors, drop boxes, and I would say profiles, but that's only if you got multiple stores. Then you have groups, customers, which is basically self-explanatory. So you'll be able to see like um, everybody that ever purchased anything from you. Gift cards, if you ever want to set up gift cards for your store. Sales, just to see like how everything was going and what sales was happening um, throughout the year. Uh, updates obviously if you want to update a certain item you could do so through here and then you have the logout okay so if what the what we're gonna do is we need to register a product into that Dropbox so we're gonna go ahead and go to products and you want to list a new product now this should be something that you've already done you already have an item that you would like to sell a product that you want that you want to sell and you already have it all lined up okay so when you go to products we're actually going to go back into SL and we're going to drag and drop that product into the Dropbox okay so I'll meet you back in SL okay so now we're back in SL here and we want to drop an item into this Dropbox here and how we're going to do that we're going to go ahead and right click and hit edit and then you're going to see content. So what I need to do, I need to go ahead and put my item here into the Dropbox so I can go ahead and register it to this booth, okay? So I have it here. I'm just going to go ahead and click and drag that on over. And then I'm going to go ahead and pop back into Casper, uh, the Casper web website and work on it from there, okay? So I'll meet you back there. Okay, so now I'm back in the Casper website. So we're going to go ahead and start here with products. When um, you want to go ahead and click on new products, Product, list new product and we're gonna start with the item um, and when we click on change item we're gonna scroll down here and we're gonna look for the item that we just put in which is this one right here the Jador uh, Genesis e-body Cupra shape we're gonna go ahead and select that if you don't see it right away you might want to just give it some time um, sometimes you might have to refresh the page hit change item and then uh, it will pop up for you again okay but you definitely want to double check and make sure it's there so you're gonna hit select put in any gift card information if you want um, and then put in the texture now for the texture the way to get the texture UUID is if you made any ads or anything like that of your product, you can easily get that straight from the actual texture in Second Life. So I'm actually going to go ahead and do that now because this one seems like it's broken. So I will be right back and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so we're back in SL here and we're just going to go ahead and get that texture. So I want to show the ad, um, the actual ad ahead so I want to show this one here right so I will go ahead and right click on this and hit copy asset UUID when you copy that it's going to give you exactly what you need so you can put this in on uh, the Casper website and I'm gonna go back there and I'll be right back okay so now we're back in the Casper website and I'm just gonna go ahead and paste that UUID here and see it definitely fixed it all up for us and then I'm gonna go ahead and put down a price so the price I want to put down I'm gonna just put down like three else for now because I do need to test it out and make sure that it works at the end copy modify no transfer if you put this on if you if you check this people will take your item and start giving it away and since it's a shape I definitely want to have this modified on so that people if you know if you want to modify or change what you don't like you can do that and copy so then that way I can sell unlimited versions of it you can put down description if you want versions like I said if you're gonna be making any updates to it then um, you can put a version so I could put like 2.0 or something like that and then update it later um, everything else is pretty much uh, self-explanatory but we're not gonna use any of this stuff so you're gonna scroll all the way down and hit save and once you hit save you should be able to see it here so I already have this set up at my store. 
okay? But I'm not gonna mess with this one at all. I'm just gonna mess with the one that I set for three lindens, okay? So then we're gonna go back to drop boxes and you should see the one that's set here for posh drive. When you click manage, you'll be able to see the item that you put in as well, okay? And then after that, you wanna go into uh, SL again and we are going to set up the actual vendor to where you click on it and you pay for it and you're good to go so we're gonna go back into SL now okay so now that we're back in the SL we don't need this Dropbox anymore so we're gonna go ahead and close that out and we are going to set this up so that we can we can buy off of it so I don't have a buy button or anything like that I do but I don't want to use that for this booth because I feel like I have a, a lot going on already so I don't need that if you if you want to put down like a buy button or anything like that that's fine this method is going to be used the exact same way if you had a buy or demo button okay so what you're gonna do you're gonna right click this item here and then you're gonna go back into the Casper uh, premium or if you have the free version you go into the Casper Van premium vendor um, folder here and what you want to look for you want to look for the headless system this right here this is what you're gonna need so I'm gonna show you guys how to actually get it out because all you need is the script and the note card that's in it okay um, and since they don't actually have that script and note card just out there ready to go you're gonna have to set this up yourself and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that and we're gonna go ahead and res this headless vendor out now it's gonna be a big old box okay um, we're gonna deny access for right now because we don't want to use it we don't want to use this we want to be able to use this instead so we're gonna hit edit and then you're gonna see the note card and the script here and you're also going to make a new folder and you're going to name it Casper Vin Headless. Okay, and once you make that, since I've already I've already had folders, but like I said, I'm just showing you guys what to do. After you do that, you're going to take these two items, hold down shift to select more than one item and drag it over to that new folder that you guys just made. Okay, once you do that, you just exit out of here, you trash this, you don't need it anymore. And so now these are the only two things that you should have, okay? Now we're gonna go back into our, either the demo word, the buy word, the picture, whatever you have set up. And you're gonna right click on that. You're gonna drag these back into your item here. And then you want to go ahead and hit allow total access when you see this pop-up come up, okay? You're going to hit allow total access. It's going to sign you in. Once it does that, you want to make sure you rename it because right now I just have it set to the default name, which was the Fox City poster thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and rename it here and I'll be right back. Okay, so after you named it, which that's what I have done here, we're going to go back into Casper and we're going to make sure it is registered to the right item so that people can actually buy your product. So we're going to go back into Casper on the website. And once you're back, what you're going to do, you're going to go to vendors over here on the left and you want to look for the one that you uh, pretty much just made, right? And it's going to say, it's going to have this old name here because it's not updated, but you want to make sure you're in the right region. So all of this is at my store. We had the POS drive one here and you notice how it says none and everything else says single item. You have to put it in that vendor. I know that sounds kind of weird, but it's really simple. Basically, you just click on what, what it said, manage. I'm gonna go back so you guys can see this. So I'm gonna go over to manage. And then see here, the vendor name actually changed. It's the correct name here. And then you wanna go down to single product and you wanna select that item that you had. And when you select it, it's gonna show up here. Okay, see it's the three dot it's the three uh, Linden one here. So I did select the right one and then after that you just exit. I'm gonna go back to products and I'm gonna go back into S SL. All right, so here we are back in um, SL. So now we're gonna, we should still have this up. You should still have the, the, the build information up for this uh, 
for this item okay then you want to go down to where it says click to and you want to hit touch and you're going to change it to pay once you change it to pay you should be able to close this out and when you hover your mouse over it you see the little linden dollar sign you click on it and boom there it is your item and then whatever you had it set to now we just want to make sure that it is working and it is giving us exactly what we want so I'm just gonna go ahead and make that purchase I'm gonna keep it so now we're gonna go to recent and objects and you see it here you just go ahead and double click on that I have it to where it automatically opens up I'm gonna keep it and it seems like I got everything exactly the way I wanted to go so that is how you use Casper and if you ever need to you are more than welcome to go back on the video and rewatch um, everything on the video so then that way you can relearn everything because like I said this process you will have to do it over and over if you have multiple items okay only if you have multiple items you will have to do this a lot warning you now so if you have a lot of stuff you're gonna be doing this on repeat and also when you're done make sure you hide your Dropbox okay make sure you hide it because you don't want people to see it you don't want people to mess with it so what I usually do I like to put it behind my um, my booth so then that way no one can see it or you can just use transparency textures and put that in but other than that that's pretty much it that's how you use the Casper vendor system I hope this helped a lot of you guys out because I've definitely been getting a lot of questions um, and a lot of concerns on how to use it so like I said this is this is to the best of my knowledge of how to use it it works for me so hopefully it can work for you guys and if you have any questions or concerns definitely hit me up in world ace chin one or one or just suki moon um send me a message on here send me a message on youtube and i'll be more than happy to get back with you and help you out and also be sure to check out posh event coming soon on february 1st okay and definitely visit my booth or like i said if you all all want to join the group you can from visiting here i will also put a link in the description for the event details as well if you guys want to check it out and other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. Bye.